What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's F Dash here with F Dash TV. Today we have card monsters again. But today we're gonna do a character spotlight. And the character spotlight is gonna be on good old Shield Ghost. Now, Shield Ghost, if you saw my last video, is as I've said, my favorite card in this game. Which is interesting because not only is it not a legendary card or even a gold card or even a silver card, it's a it's a charcoal card. Um, so it's one of the the least rare cards in the game. And if you look at its abilities, it doesn't even attack. It just sits there, kind of. Uh, but it's sitting there is so amazing. So as you can see, mine is uh, maxed out here. So at level five, these are its abilities. Uh, it costs three crystals, so you can play it in one turn, which is always good. It has five health, and then it has a shield, a mirror shield, and enchanted armor. So the shield absorbs two physical damage, and then the mirror shield absorbs two spell damage. Now this is huge because most spell character will do without any equipment about two to three damage. So if you got that Blagodite and you don't ever put equipment on it, he's not gonna do any damage to this. Uh, conversely, the characters that go on the side, like the archers and all that, they also do between two and three damage without equipment. So this character stays alive for a really long time with these shields. And then with the enchanted armor, it says when this unit has armor from equipment, gain additional armor. So if your shield has five, he's gonna get six. He's got four, he's gonna get five, three, he's gonna get four, so so on and so forth. It's just, it's really amazing. I love the fact that he almost never dies. Um, what, one of my favorite things to do, especially when I get him first, is throw him out there and then put a mage cap on him. Now if we take a quick look at the mage cap. Uh, I just think it's hilarious because the mage cap or the, the shield ghost in and of itself doesn't attack, like I said. But the mage cap gives it the ability to attack. So it's gonna do two spell damage. And you see, mine's maxed out at level three here. And so it's got five shields. So when I put it on shield ghost, he's gonna get six shield. That is freaking crazy. And then he's gonna do two, two spell damage to everybody. So the main place you're gonna wanna put him is right in the front and then put two uh, DPS on the side. Now generally I'll go with uh, both of my, show you my deck here, I'll go with both of my Frosties, and that's really just a, a really nasty, disgusting thing to do to people. Uh, the other thing I like doing is to equip him with uh, healing. So I'll throw this one on him, the healing armor, so that he sits there and gets four shield and then also uh, continuously heals not only himself but the rest of the team. And then I love to put him and Fishmon out there together because then you've got five heal going. And it's just, they never, they just never die. It's, it's, it's really quite amazing. So Shield Ghost to me is one of the best cards in the game. As you can see, he's not, it doesn't really cost much to, to upgrade him. Let's see if I can go to the other one here so I can show you. Um, he requires these, these super basic materials, which you should have a bajillion of, you know? and is not expensive at all. So if you have this card and if you play blue, if you play balance, uh, this is definitely a card you're gonna wanna look into. So now let me go show you why I think he's so awesome. So my last four games have all started exactly the same and that's with good old Shield Ghost available from the very beginning. So I'm gonna take you to, like I said, I can take you to any of the last ones. But I'm, let me take you to this first one here against Martin. And just show you, uh, he we I actually we may have finished this match. I think he actually went all the way, and he didn't uh, decide to die here. Let me turn my sound on just a little bit, in case I get that weirdness. But you'll see here, uh, I pull him out first, give him a, a, an ability, and oh, actually in this case I gave him plague armor, which is even better. With plague armor, I mean, whenever you get attacked with physical damage, he's going to do three damage to you. And he's also going to poison you. So see, he brought out this guy who only does one damage. That's just, that's not going to hurt me. That's just not going to do it. And that's usually what happens when you bring out your first one. Um, so you need somebody like his big bones to uh, to do something so that, exactly. So he threw out his big bones. So now big bones will do some damage to me. But, I mean, it's only two. And then I'm going to do three damage to him. 
So he's going to lose that battle because uh, he's not going to do enough damage for me. And of course, I got to throw up my Frosty. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do that nasty setup where I'm going to do two uh, double Frosties on the side. And he's just not going to be able to, to really handle that. So he threw out this one. So this is, this is probably the one disadvantage of having uh, this character out on the board. It's uh, Inspire. So Inspire will obviously increase physical damage. And the more physical damage you do, uh, the, the less alive he's going to be here. So I equipped him with this, this cane, which is probably not the best idea, to be honest. Uh, you really want to equip him with shield. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened. So this was unfortunate here because I lost uh, my ability to do spell damage, but threw up my Frosty here who does 3 damage, which is always great, so he knocks her right off. I'm going to do 1 damage to him, so he's dead. Fortunately did no spell damage there, but you can see I haven't lost any monsters, he's already only has 4 left. And again, he's just not going to ever do damage to me. It's just not going to happen. Now, as you see, I threw out a, a healing there, so now he's healed up completely. This this bird here, he's gone. He is gone. And he's only got three monsters left. What's he gonna pull out? And my like as you see, I'm I'm full, I have all of my um Full health here. So he's gonna do some damage here. Maybe. So he did no damage to me, of course. And now my Frosty is gonna do some serious damage over there. This guy's gonna get three. He's gonna get one. He's gone. So now he moves to the middle where he can't even attack. But you can see, and he, he gave up. And no lie, that's pretty much how they all have gone. Um, the last four that I've had here that have been all wins here. Against this one, Murderful Martin, it's I've gotten the Shield Ghost in the very beginning, and I was able to to pretty much throw him out first, and not even have to worry about anything the rest of the match. It's pretty great. So that's uh, that's why I think Shield Ghost is definitely uh, one of my favorite cards, if not the favorite card in this game. So if you have Shield Ghost, I would highly advise you to level him up, especially if you use the Balance deck. And if you're not using balance deck, I don't know what's wrong with you. JK, JK. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to battle me, my uh, ID there is on the screen. It is XU2WZQ. All right. I'll see you guys in the arena. And I'll see you guys next time on F-TV.